Welcome to the last session of the critical path method. In the previous session, we performed the forward and the backward path and we calculated the early start, early finish, late start and late finish of all the activities. What remains is the calculation of the float or the slack and the identification of the critical path. So let's have a look at the float or the slack. This is the diagram with all the numbers we found at the end of the last session. Now we are interested in the green numbers, which are indicating the slack or the float of those activities. The formula on the top right defines the calculation of the slack or the float and the slack is equal to the late finish minus the early finish or is equal to the late start minus the early start. For activity two, we can calculate the slack by subtracting one from three or two from four. So we find the slack equal to two. For activity B, we see that early start and early finish relative to late start and late finish are the same. So their difference is zero and activity B has a slack equal to zero. For activity C, we see that the slack is four. For activity D, the slack is five. For activity E, we see again that the early start is equal to the late start and the early finish is equal to the late finish, which gives us a slack of zero. For activity F, the slack is three. Activity G gives us a slack of four. Activity H, a slack of zero, and finally the activity J also has a slack equal to zero. So now we can go to the next slide and identify the critical path. The critical path we can start in this case by identifying all the activities which have a slack equal to zero. The first activity with slack equal to zero is activity B. So the critical path start at activity B. The next activity with slack equal to zero is activity E. And we continue with activity H and activity J. So we found the critical path in this example by connecting all the activities which have slack equal to zero. Be careful. This is not always the case. The critical path is given by the activities with slack equal to zero only when the early finish and the late finish date of the project are the same. If that's not the case, you cannot make this conclusion. In the next session, I will explain to you what the exact definition of the critical path is. But for now, we identify the critical path. We did a lot of calculations. You did a great job tracking all the work we did, but we are not finished yet. See you in the next session.